cars. Chelsea was in tears just now. Oh, I'm being blackmailed now. Pat cars. This is your very last chance. He is leaving for King's Cross at any minute. What gives you the right to think that you can interfere in my life? Pat cars. Because I want to see you happy, you stupid woman. I'll be the judge of what makes me happy. Thank you very much. Chelsea says that you are scared. Yeah, well, Chelsea can keep her nose out. And I agree with her. Pat cars. And about this whole religion thing? Oh, what about it? It's just something to hang your excuse on. Which just goes to show how very little you know me, Zainab. So, you know what? I'll explain this to you in very simple words so that you understand. I cannot live with a man with a closed mind. Pat Cars. Who's really got the closed mind round here? That's all I've got to say about it. <laughs> Did you just hear yourself? Did you? You just ended the conversation and you say he's got the closed mind. Pat Cars. Why are you doing this? What are you getting out of it? I am do... Pat Cars. Saw it, yes. And then what's your name? Where are you going to? Okay, that should be five minutes. Thank you. Ricky? Yeah? Ricky, we've got a Mrs McCormack of 14 Cromwell Road, Walford, and she's going to Upper Street, Islington. Can you take it? Was that right away? Yeah, she's waiting. Come on in, I'm on my way. Thanks, cheers. Pat Cars. <gasps> right, no, that's it, get out. You offered to live with him knowing full well that he was going to say no. Brilliant. So now it's entirely his fault, nothing to do with Denise. Pat Cars. Of course you are scared. I can understand that. But don't pretend that this is about religion. The man offered to marry you. Pat Cars. Who's that from? It's from Libby. She's just saying she's going to be late. Denise, I am begging you if you. Pat Cars. 